Hey guys, it's Vmasters Reactions, and we're back with Talks Machina, episode 62, Domestic Respite. And we now have, yet again, Ashley Johnson. I'm totally fine with that. We had so little of Ashley Johnson throughout most of the campaign. We have had her, I believe, three of the last four. I think last week was the break. I feel like we had her two, and then a break, and then one now. Or I might have messed that up somewhere. But I know we've had her three of the last four, if not more than that. Pretty much since she came back. I feel like the first time she came back, she wasn't on Talks Machina. Then, ever since then, I think she's missed one. So, we have her, Laura Bailey. I did watch the beginning. And Brian, the reason I watched the beginning was because I was about to skip ahead. And he said he was going to explain what is replacing GIF of the week. It is cosplay of the week. I think that is so much better. Nothing against the GIFs. But I gotta say, of both the GIF and the fan art of the week... The GIF was the one that was always, like, hit or miss because they're kind of chaotic. And that's what GIFs kind of are. They kind of, like, throw them up together like a mashup. Fan Art of the Week I enjoy because it is literally somebody's skill and talent portrayed in how they perceive critical role, I guess you'd say. GIF of the Week is just taking a bunch of clips and mashing them up and making a comedic loop. I mean, they're good too, but I'll be honest with you. I'm about to go to Dragon Con in a couple months with my brother. We are going as several different characters, one of which is going to be an apocalyptic Ghostbuster trio. It's me, my brother, and one of his best friends. I know him very well as well. I probably haven't seen him in like 15 years, but I've known him since I was in high school. His friend, my brother's friend. I've known my brother since he was born. Well, no, I haven't because he's two years older. Either way, I'm ranting. We're going as apocalyptic Ghostbusters and I'm going all out. I'm spending some coin, official proton packs, and all sorts of stuff. Traps. We're going to, like, rip our clothes up and be evil. I don't know. We were wondering whether or not we should be evil Ghostbusters or possessed Ghostbusters in an apocalyptic world. But either way, I'm thinking about possibly doing something Critical Role related with him. The problem is there's only so much I could take to Atlanta. So either way, I just thought it was funny that cosplay of the week is becoming a thing because we've done nothing for the last couple of weeks but talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And we're going to try to do it the best to our ability. So you'll see pictures, I'm sure, and we're going to be taking videos down there. But either way, we got Ashley Johnson. We decorated our house. It was a lot of house-related things. Then we jumped in episode 63 in the live stream, and to be honest with you, I can't remember where it cut off and where it began 63. So rather than think about it and guess, since I've already ranted about cosplaying, let's just jump in. We'll talk more at the end. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons out of what you're seeing, in the description of every video as a link for Patreon. You'll see every episode of Campaign 2, exclusive Patreon hour, Vox Machina Season 1 and 2, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra. We're starting It's Always Sunny in a Month, and we're finishing Barry and Ted Lasso the week before that. So just check out everything we do, hundreds of movies and shows. In the description is a link for Patreon. If not, episode 62, Talks Machina. And I wore Frumpkin's shirt because Frumpkin made an appearance in the last episode that was quite lovely. We have some crit roll stats. Ready. <sighs> Lay them out. Crit roll stats. Lay it on us. Jester, mm? played so brilliantly by you, Laura. <laughs> Very brilliantly. brilliantly. Has cast sending 38 times. <laughs> oh. How Making many? it her second most used spell Ca after uh, what? That makes sense. Um, I think he said 78. That makes sense. Most now. used spell. Thaumaturgy. Um, no, it's not that. Wounds? Yeah. Really? What was it? Really? You're really I'm good. Oh, cure, cleric. Wounds. Cleric. cure wounds. Sure. You are a cleric. <laughs> it's been roughly 3.5 months since Jester and Knot sent their letter to the Solstress Academy. Three Whoa. and a half months. Whoa, Jesus. Shit. That's a long time. That is a long happened. time. That's, That's why we got a package. No. That's a long time a long that time. things could have happened behind the scenes. Yeah. That's a long time. I honestly yeah. wouldn't have guessed that. I would have thought like half that. Maybe a month Did you guys play some video games on the internet today? What? Yeah, we did. What? I'm a little Way perturbed. Hey. Travis and I. Oh, we were streaming our, we Travis, went live to stream our show today. We did today. Travis's gaming yeah. ranch or and whatever it's called. instead, the channel decided to first put out some tweet with a weird, crazy person in a... Yeah, that was weird. That really was bad weird Yasha strange. not mix, mixture of cosplay there. Yeah. That was really weird. Um, what? Yeah, that was really weird. I don't know who that was. I'm intrigued. But whoever it was was brilliant. Yeah. And very handsome. Yeah. Yeah. Was it handsome? Travis? I'm just saying. Brilliant. Brilliant and handsome. She's got to be talking about Travis. <laughs> 
Oh no, it's Mia has a question for Laura Bailey. Oh no. Oh, no. There's no it's more stats? Mia. It was just two stats? Listen, I did What you want the I, show I to be stats now or do you want honestly, to honestly do you want the people to be able to use, ask we, you? I, I feel like thought there would be other stats. Ashley, I feel like we do have no, more than two say, stats I just, usually. I didn't do a whole but lot I could of this be episode. Wrong. I feel like that you is were the, the only, only one available stats. tonight. Oh, I'll be honest. The only one available tonight. <laughs> everyone <laughs> else, I'll, I'll everyone else is at no, Flappers. No, I want that to be clear because I feel like getting ready like, for Joel Hodgson's stream after yes. ours. Everybody Joel was busy, Hodgson. so oh, I I'm here. I forgot. I got to put so this to an 11. It's a little just loud. calm down, everybody. I know. Me. I might have to put it to a 12. Talk's not going to be perfect, and I just want you on the show all the time. They got good audio, if anything. You know what happens when I put my shoes up on the couch at home? My morning fitness drink. You guys know I haven't smoked in almost a week. I haven't Don't give drank me that look because it works. in over two Jester weeks. Jester and Bo seem Today to makes automatically assume days, they would month, still be rooming together. Because I stopped together. drinking Even two live streams ago. they had space to spread out. Does Jester like having a roommate after growing up somewhat isolated? Is she just used to Bo, or is there another reason she likes the company? She likes having a roommate, and also I think Bo likes having a roommate. I they, agree. They get along I think really well. I, I think they There's do. lots of like talk amongst each other at the end of the I day. I feel like they're a good duo because oh, yeah. Bo is very serious exactly. most of the time <laughs> yeah. and Jester is not. I think, I think it's a really nice partnership that mm. they get along really, really well. Jester. And when you Jester find somebody that you, you know, do well with together, you want to stick with them. Yeah. But you just, can you just talk to your invisible friend? I've, I think I've said this traveling. before. Yes, I Laura can do that. Looks but he so much like an ex-girlfriend of mine that I'm still friends with. Sometimes he's that I feel like yeah. I'm friends real. with her more Ashley. than anybody else, just because she looks similar. <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Naomi Andrews. I'm joking. Like I, I she I mean, not only looks like is, the girl I'm it? thinking of, but actually. Naomi like Andrews wants to And I dated her for years. It was very nice and fitting that Yasha got the room with the balcony. Yeah. After her last interaction with the Storm Lord, actually having a conversation, is Yasha looking forward to communing with her god more? Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> I think I think that the, the choice for the balcony was a couple reasons. Laura, I yeah. would so always pick the balcony. I fucking believe this. I love me a balcony. Episode. I have a sliding I door in my bet. bedroom. That goes out to a deck, but we have a it's ranch, fine. so it's all one level. If you want. So we I don't have balconies. Out. Anyway, Steve, we can take care of this, this right? But I love Storm having sliding I doors. If I was on a second floor, a the, third the, floor, the choice for I would the balcony love to walk was out for balcony. a couple reasons because, you know, sleeping in a home and under a roof like that is obviously I would very just put a chair out Yasha. there so and I think kick back and smoke and drink. Not now, though, because we're being healthy. Hopefully. In like two weeks. I think it's one of those things of like not wanting to get claustrophobic, so she can always just go outside if she needs to. And also, from experience, from what air. she knows up until this point, is that she communes right now, with her god Right now, my sliding doors are wide open, and the kids are, are god. admiring as as the, the nice like, day. It's like 70 indoors. degrees out. Yeah. So, she's figuring her shit out. Figuring your shit out. Yeah. I could not handle having a god that was like, you have to go outdoors to talk to me. Are like, you a god? <laughs> yeah. No, I this do think that it's during it. rain. I would go outside during rainstorms to talk to my god. I'd okay. be okay with that. Okay. I ain't That's a fan better. of rain, though. I know yeah, I have I a couple like it, friends it that, for me. I like, like when it rains, they, they will be like, let's go out like, go and dance in the rain or, or just well, chill in the rain. I to, but I was also just... I don't know, maybe because I work outside, bad weather is not something I like to play. I didn't want to be like, That's so I feel like if I was indoors all the time, I would, you know, like but I don't know. I didn't because he made this beautiful space. <coughs> I want like, a nice can breeze. I, live in there also? I want the Since sun on my ass. Work. Not my ass. I think but my it, face. I bet he would be cool. I with think it. he would be cool with it. I think there will be nights where I'll probably, Yasha, will probably go in there and sleep in there. Yeah, that's what I. With, with I can paint you a hammock yeah. for the tree. <gasps> that's right, because you can just paint anything and then it'll be there. I know. Yeah. Do we not have? I a brought Yasha this up before, plushie? and it's no. totally not relevant to what they're talking about. That's Nothing okay. against Ashley Johnson that many plushies. or we now don't. Laura Bailey. We I hate plushies. when people put I shoes on Laura, couches and beds. Derm, 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 I brought it up derm, derm, many derm, times derm, about now. beds. Jester I don't get it. Seems always you have to dirty a lot shoes that are touching to the ground happy, constantly all day. This episode with I like. I don't understand why people put shoes on couches. Is this driven by pure altruism and making others happy? A desire to make sure she's not I have friends that will jump in my bed with shoes on, and I'm like, get the. I just, it, to I me, mean, it's like they're got to be well, the dirtiest thing on your body, your shoes. She just genuinely does want to make people happy, mm. right? But I think that desire comes from uh, fear, probably, of disappointing people and having them not want to be around her. Mm. So. Has that happened a lot? 
I mean, I still no, love them both. I don't dislike like, them. I just like I mean, she, just does, she, has she puts been, those measures in place to make sure it doesn't. You guys yeah. are probably like Jay. Hmm. That's nothing to do with yeah. what we're talking about. She has, she, you know, she grew up with expectations on her and upon herself, maybe that she put there, but, um, you know, she just, she equates that to being loved. I mean, it makes sense. That's and a, keeping that love. Yeah. It makes sense. That's a really interesting character thing to explore. <clears throat> what made you want to go there with her when you were crafting this character? It's an interesting choice. Uh, I feel like I it's don't know fun. If I just decided to go there with her, or if that just kind I of feel maybe evolved. not. Fun yeah, that is kind the of word. came out naturally when I was. If it seems like it'd be know, coming up with what her backstory I, was, I dig and like it though. it's a thing that we talked about. Like when you're fleshing out a character, like when you start embodying the character, you start realizing their little nuances and things that make them tick, and that's just one of the things that popped up. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Ashley Lesbrandian <laughs> wants to know. How is Yasha, Yasha feeling having a home for the first time in quite a long time, like you mentioned earlier, and a house and even longer? Is she excited to make a space her own, or is she still not quite convinced Have we that it will stay before? or that she Les deserves it? You answered a little bit of that earlier, but Did he say she deserves it. I didn't hear the name. Les Brennan? Um, That's interesting. Les, I think, Les Brennan? You know, like I've said. Les Brennan? Is that how you say it? I don't think I heard Brian Yasha's say it. Very much struggling with sort of the love that people give her. And so I think in terms of the, the house and, and everything, it's obviously a, a weird thing, but I think it's funny because before you, Jester, came in there and decided to paint the room, I was gonna go in there and be like, I'm not gonna put any belongings here. I'm not gonna, it's just gonna be very plain. You and know, then Jester just comes in, my book that I got flowers everywhere, and a little dick. She said there's a little dick in there somewhere. We didn't mm. find but it, I'm not I don't gonna, think put roots in the room and decorate. Oh. And, and then Jester comes in. It was in. just such a cute little moment walking in. I was like, oh, now it, it being in that room just means something now. Because it was just such a another moment of like, oh. I think that's not a bad <laughs> thing, but I don't, I, maybe she don't want to be tied down to things. And uh, Jester wanting to make Yasha happy or do something nice. It's, it's, uh, I, that was a, Beautiful little moment that even in the game I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, I, yeah, it was just so yeah. so wonderful. But I think yeah, it's 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 a multitude of things. Like she doesn't feel deserving of it, and but Man. wants to stay with these people. But it's also a weird thing. It also feels like she's you know she still feels kind of trapped being under a roof, but she's never really explored that. So. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't know how long she's going to last in that room. Mm. Yeah. Yikes. That's a uh, reoccurring <clears throat> theme with our group that I don't think I ever realized is the that feeling that they're undeserving of I know. Isn't being that loved. We all like hit <laughs> every that? single pick. Yeah, everybody you know, has honestly, that feel that secretly. We got an interesting group, it but I feel characters. like everybody feel that in the world. Nope, I was going to say I feel like everybody knows me has to every a certain extent in this world right too. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. Exactly what Brian said. Jessica I just feel like Dwyer everyone in the world is going to be slightly was one of the best parts of the episode. Blah, blah. Like that. How would Jester like to decorate the other Mighty I mean, Nine members' rooms? Everywhere. Do you think they'd trust her enough not just to paint dicks everywhere? Okay, I have some ideas. And you so do? I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to say it. Cause, Holy shit, because what if they let you? Yeah, because I, I might just bring it in the game because I definitely have ideas for what I want to do. The only, like... The only person that I probably won't do it to is Ford because he said, please don't pay my room. Why do you think what he said dick. that? Why do you I think know. he said yes, that? I think he just said it because he knew there'd be dicks everywhere. Just a really tiny like, one. Just draw a little arrow and like, this is that? you. I can't figure out. I don't <laughs> know why he did the shutter thing Here's either. Mirror. <laughs> I don't know what, what Ford's thing is with the house. I was trying to like He's kind of ask him about it. Is it beyond just being, I don't want dicks in my room? very close Because I just I just ended there. I don't like that one bit. When he said, don't paint my room. Like if I had a friend that painted dicks or drew dicks all over things, I'd be like, don't go in my room. for not that. It's funny, but not if you paint it all over my room. I don't want dicks all over my room. I mean, yeah, if you can paint it in the rest of the house, keep my room out of it. But it could be more than that. Maybe at this time. Ashley, Rob Dickayosini. Okay, Rob. Uh-oh. Rob I told you uh oh me. Dick. <laughs> Rob's watching. Kyosin. <clears throat> How would Is you that say it? Dick Iosin? Dick Dickinaze? Dick Iosin? Because <laughs> I'm thinking I'm I'm, I'm say saying Kai. 
Dekaya sign. That's Dekai what I said the first time, and you guys laughed at me. That's oh, not what said. Rob Dekaya sign wants Dekai to know. Dekaya sign. Dekai. I guess that makes sense. Dekai. 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 How are you? I was close. I feel like I had the I had the beginning right. What are we Dekai doing? Osin. I don't have to be. I had the chance real to name take tonight off. Is that real name? Either way, it's an interesting Rob one. Rob Cacophony wants to know. I'm just kidding. I think Rob you're so Cacophony. great. And I love you, and you're the best host ever. Sure. I do think sure. so. Congrats on the uh, news about your show, by the way. Oh, thank <clears> you. <throat> Blind spot. <laughs> hey, man. Renewed for one final. Turn around the wheel. Hurrah. One last hurrah, that's right. Yeah, one then, last yeah. hurrah. And then I'm and home, then, and then I'm home. Are this you was the, the announcement. Bad? Are you going to kill everyone on the show in the last episode and then be like... I told you, you can't talk about no, but the storyline of the show. But asking She's you gonna kill if everyone that's going in to happen button. throws How long did Blindspot go on? Go, I saw well, several episodes know. way so before I even did this. I've been the big baddie the whole time. I saw several <gasps> episodes of Blindspot. They do make you the big baddie now. And then I kind of... Her first name? It was one of those shows. I feel like they took a break, and if you take a break... I am going to forget you are a show. It's nothing against the show. I just... That's the spinoff. Unless you are weekly. That's the spinoff. Or you tell me constantly, you drill it into my head. And it fucking shoots in Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. He is adamant about that. After being gone for so much of the early campaign, does Yasha struggle with viewing herself as a fully fledged Mighty Nine? I feel like there was. I don't does know. Jester's mural and Ford's help I know with the bracers eventually got canceled, and we do that. get Ashley much more often. Definitely, but I, th I think that is something that's self-imposed <laughs> on my end of you know not playing as many games and so. It's feels like ketchup a lot. Not the condiment. I was just gonna um, say she paused, <laughs> and I'm like, you, you yeah, I was gonna make a joke, but she already beat me um, to it. But <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Good old man. You know, buddy. <laughs> you get hot. Sometimes you just want to lay on the hard work. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's hot. Okay. I just want to make it's sure. Um, I have the doors open and the I, windows. I think she's she's getting more dialed left. in with 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 the group. I want to watch but the that's camera. Still I'm going to just have the camera um, up on my phone. So we'll if I see them pull in, uncomfortable for they'll walk for in and make so much freaking noise. At least until it'll next. ruin the world. So I have to check the cameras when I leave the doors open. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. But I think obviously the everybody showing love towards each other is is breaking down everybody in a good way. Mm. So we're all getting. I'm assuming. Closer is I don't know if he said it, but I'm assuming yeah. we're not going to get cosplay this week, Everybody's being closer, as he just said in know. the beginning. Caleb, submit. Caleb has me. I'm nervous about. Caleb. I don't think we have submissions I'm yet. I'm nervous about Who that character. Come on, without us being somebody. Told. He makes me nervous. He's got too many names. Steve. Yeah. Max, you bringing sexy back? Lots of people yeah. make me nervous. <laughs> Lots of people make you nervous? Lots of people make me nervous. Everybody should be nervous about Jester. Yeah. She's the real villain. I would agree I with Danny. Lots no, of I people make me nervous. nervous. I don't trust no... I, 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 I tell you guys all the time, in the real, real world, real opinion, I, I trust very few every single people. Person in this like party in my daily interactions. I love all of you. Yeah, but yeah, I mean I like people I do business with on a daily basis. I would not say that about Vox Machina. I, I think, don't I, trust I half of them because everyone is out to get you half the time, the and it is just and the honest, horrible. Like, 50, I don't, I don't want it to be that way. It's on, just in my whether experience. Whether they would turn on the Mighty Nine. Do you know what would be People, amazing? Maybe 50, 50, but I definitely over. can see it happening. Do you and know what I don't would be trust anybody in this. Is if in the second to last Except episode of this campaign, all of you just turned bad. Yeah, like that would be and started killing a bunch of like just battle royale. That's what I'm saying. I don't. Think that'll Destroy happen because that would probably Stop ruin it, the greatness we have made. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But like she Why said, with Caleb so and four, there are Aww, like Ford scares me in a way that I don't think he could control it. Someone believed once. Caleb to know. scares Laura, me in a way a where I feel why like Jester wanted a hole in the wall between might the, the rooms. Snap. Was it just a whim or was there I don't more know. to it? <laughs> I'm not afraid like when of she them. Was with her mom, you know, and she on had the to, level uh, of knowing what they're doing. It was when they know originally. Doing, I, I just say. wanted to put a peephole in the wall so I could spy on him. <laughs> you don't ask somebody if you can put I a peephole know. in and the then, wall. I know, but she didn't think about that. And then, and then, and I was like, well, I should just fess up to it. I just want to put a hole in the wall, and then we can talk through it. And then, and then I was like, what if it's I a peephole? I want to put a peephole, and then we can make one of those, those things with the string. Someone's gonna bring up glory hole. Who's it? gonna bring up glory like, hole? That way. Yeah. 
Brian, but it wasn't open to I'm any leaving of it to it. Brian. And then I was like, what if we just make a big hole? And then we can have it be a door. I don't. I don't typically go <laughs> there. But with Brian, I'm I shocked. Mean, I can see how you guys have gone to the next day to point B on that one. None we of it. None of it involved in the decision, though. When I was thinking about it, but um, I was just thinking. Well, the peephole was kind of dirty, but yeah, the peephole. The, the you asked the somebody if I could yeah. put a peephole in your room. <laughs> And then you made None it of like that was dirty except for the initial idea. Just like the very initial. The, the rest <laughs> of it was totally no. Nothing was dirty except <laughs> where it started. I could it still started do. dirty yes, and then can. became friendly because yeah, I was do whatever you want. questioned. It's your house. In the middle of the Maybe that's what Matt was having. I'm not even kidding you. Back when I like sure I was out of college. Was up I almost yeah, I don't swear know to God, I don't know. I don't know. there's a basement under me. I'm, I'm a one-level ranch, but there is a basement that goes down to a four-car garage. We just don't know about it. I almost drilled, like, cut a hole in my living room to put a fire pole because I was so obsessed with Ghostbusters. Even now, which is why we're going as Ghostbusters, I need to take it home and wash it. I almost cut a hole in the floor and put a fire pole so I could go down the fire pole to my car. I'm happy I did. It would have been awesome, it. right but I'm happy I didn't because <laughs> well, we have problems right with Henry. water and moisture. Henry. Oh, and if I did that, I would pineapple. probably have mold and mildew Get everywhere in my house. Wait, it is very wait, sealed wait, up wait, now. Oh, there it is. So, don't <laughs> want to be cutting the holes in the floor into it. Does Yasha feel like Moist she's been garages. forced to tell everyone but it about her been history? Cool or was like she comfortable enough with the group now It'd to probably still be cool if we just have mold everywhere. With just a small nudge. I feel like she's getting more comfortable. Customer She's getting more delight. comfortable. A lot of Makes that was of sort of out of... Uh, honestly, knowing that I have a little bit of a limited time at home. Mm -hmm. But also not tr trying to sort of naturally have it be a part of the story. But I think it was at a point where we kind of had to discuss it. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's still a lot that hasn't been talked about. There is. So a lot that's with her, still especially. Sort of the I feel like we have like a story. like a veil so of I what think, is going um, to come. There's still more to tell, but I, I think it definitely has gotten to the point with them where she did feel comfortable confessing that with them. Hmm. You know, of just like, yeah, yeah, I'm a coward. <laughs> Here's nope. my story. And Just yeah, I'm hey, a coward. what patch was on here? It's Here's like, the story. Mm, looks like there used to be one there, but it's gone. What was it? Oh yeah, um, was I it don't like know. Rancid. Uh, on the other side too, it's the Black same thing. Flag. Stained. No, look, the other side <laughs> matches. Stained? It was a limp biscuit. <laughs> was it? The other side almost identically matches. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. Look at Brian's face. Did you tear that off the night you met me? Because you were like, oh, this guy won't. This guy he won't stand, stand for, for He won't up. stand for it. This man will not corn. stand for That's limp biscuit corn? patches. I did it all for Chris the Nookie. Chris Willemite, is that she corn? Had a patch. I did it all for the Nookie. Right? Yeah, I'm listening to it right now. I'm listening to it right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Chris know if, I, I, obviously, I don't know. Okay. All I know is both shoulders uh, match. Dick There's like a faded know, Laura, patch I'm on both sides. I'm worried it's Jester now that she realized she might have written her surname to that letter to Ast in that letter to Astrid. Ooh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. Really dumb, yeah. Huh? Are you stressing Lavor. or is it like, well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right, not, what was it? You know, not and Lavor Incorporated is, or something like that? That's not too I'm much. sure somebody like but, hey. Astrid could figure it out, but most people know my mom as the Ruby of the Sea. You know, there's not like... It's not like, come see Marion Lavore. The that trees is a, are blowing so violently that it looked like, like a man Jester. was running across like my she, sky. She, it's not like she, like, And that's not typical. You don't see men running the across the, the sky. Ruby of the sea, or the Ruby of the Sea says, like, I have this daughter. Her name is yeah, Jester. Exactly. The Ruby of the Sea does not claim that <laughs> she has a daughter. That's why Jester lived so much of her life. But it still, I feel like, room. could bring into questioning like, things. It's not common knowledge that she even has anybody. Yeah. So... Yeah, it. I mean, so, yeah. it ain't good. Uh, it ain't good and knowing that it we isn't good, but I mean, you know, I get what she's saying. Where we stayed, and then it's if like if comes like asking, my name. There was a blue Masters. girl named, and I put my name That's down. That's why it's the Masters. Pilcher. Those of you who didn't Buster know. Lavoe, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. there's, there's you like, know, I've it met can be traced. Twenty Masters that just in New Jersey. That was the wisest decision. And I'm not related to any of them. that fully on not because I didn't know anything about Kayla's backstory at that time. 
You just knew a girl named yep. Jeff. You, you, you knew the most famous is Ken Masters from had Street Fighter. A, a old buddy, Ken's last name is Masters. Potentially an know. old girlfriend named Astrid. He's That's my brother. all I knew. That's all you knew. All, all Way to pass knew. the blame, too. That went, that was, that went swimmingly. You see that? <clears throat> I love it. That was clever. Right? That was well done. She was, in fact, not the one at fault. Not. 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 The one at fault. Not, not to blame. The one at fault. Absolutely. Not, <laughs> comma, to blame. N O T T. N O T T. Yes. Eh? Play on words. Let's blame not. T-t-t-s. Not will probably willingly take the blame. <laughs> I don't think not. <laughs> I mean, not it's actually right now. I said this during the last live stream. <laughs> not <laughs> to me has been it's more your different than ever. Oh, oh, cute. Especially to Caleb. Now that the whole and I knows commented about why how left her tribe is it because we no longer need Caleb as much? Does she feel any different from about being a coward? We got Yeza. Does Bo saying she's a survivor? Although she still needs anyway. Caleb to learn shit to get back to normal. So I guess I'm wrong there. I don't think she'll yeah. ever feel differently about it. It's mm. your go regard. I think it's. I love it. Was it. A, I love that. That's good. It's your go a regard. Choice that she made that she will. Never be able to live it down has a lot of because plays on someone words. lost their life in the process, and I think you know. We're almost I think she realized in that moment how brave she Clearly we're not was. Getting not and, anything till uh, fan art. It's you know we might like make it the whole episode without family shitty in your life. In. You don't really ever forget it. It's just kind of yeah, there's a difference in that and <laughs> choosing to be defined by your worst moment, though. And it sounds like she's going, this is a pillar yeah, that yeah. holds up my story. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. where she's at. And if that, <clears throat> maybe that will one day change, who knows? But um, I think it, it did mean something that Bo said that. But I think there's still a little bit of, you know, oh, well, you're probably just saying that. You know, I think she's uncomfortable talking about it because it's, it's not an easy story to tell. Yeah. To, to, but she's comfortable enough with everybody that she knows that they know her and somewhat know her character at this point. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, it was it was time to sort of tell a little bit of the story. Yeah, I'm pushing this tray mm-hmm. because it keeps hitting my hand, uh, and I'm both probably of you, shaking. Alfredo the Rondinella wants to know. Not expressed her intention to go back to her family once she manages to get her old body back. How are Yasha and Jester dealing with this thought? I feel like that was understood. Mm-mm. Yeah. I mean, no one's going to yeah. like it. You're going to lose a buddy. I, That's mm, weird. I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know how we're going to work around it either. Also, I feel like, I feel like she's only we just with us because That's of like the, the situation. Is Sam going to fucking walk out again as another so. character? Is he going to do it again? I hope so. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> oh, for campaign Very one, weird. you mean? I got my nails done. Uh, what? No. I was genuinely admiring. That I'm honestly not going to put much thought into that, but that. <laughs> yeah, I see. I don't know. Yeah, she so just said so Sam walks out. How, I was like, how, how hey, we're not going to think about it. Feeling about this. I, uh, Maybe. May, see now. Don't say anything because now Brian threw me off. I think know, Brian is misdirecting, too. saying it's campaign one. Yeah. Wait, now can he do that? I don't know. I think. I don't want to think about it. Don't Michael, don't comment on that because I right now am more family, confused than you found your, spoiled. Your person again. So I think that's something that is very important to Yasha, and I think she would be very like. Go. Uh, like honestly, though, I don't know how he doesn't. Like I don't know how Sam doesn't leave. I don't know how not I doesn't go with the family. Because, because you're a goblin, there's no, right? Oh well, I was saying after they turn. There's no world where not could choose. Mighty Nine over her, you know, her yeah, husband and her son. Yeah, that's the whole thing. And the only so, reason not is with us. Unless they were to die in like a freak ass It's because she had no choice. Caleb kills them If you're turned into a goblin and your your <laughs> husband's <laughs> taken and you're, you're yeah. like, you, you don't really have much of a choice. You gotta fight. The goal here is to get back to your family or not. The rest of them are kind of like all solo on their owners. Not had a family and a life what? before uh, this. I'm trying to see if you answer this more one so than anybody else. Uh, like everyone had lives before Mercer. this, but no one How had a family. feel knowing that Astrid that, that is maybe not who she thought she was, and is she concerned about Caleb's connections to Empire assassins? <laughs> Empire uh, assassins. Yeah, in answer Caleb. to the first part, oops. <laughs> and mm-hmm. then in answer to the second part, oops. I mean, 
Did, we've gotten Caleb's full backstory. I don't no. Think you guys, y'all still, still, y'all still no. don't know that he killed his parents. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. I still don't know. See, I, I full on connection I, to. Who knows that? that? Don't some of us know that? Torture. Some of us know that he killed his parents. Do Not things. does right, mm -hmm. and so does. Yeah. That's I know there's it. like a, I feel like there's a, at least half of us he know he killed people. his parents. Yeah. But even I mean, either I way, I feel like himself. we've gone through enough with yeah, him where I don't knowing he's an empire assassin would really do much. At least to mo the ones that know, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, unless it's like something really the family bad. Family has returned. Like killing your parents or something. They're back again. <laughs> but luckily, sure. that didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get up in two seconds and shut the door. He's doing fan art. Perfect timing. Look at this. As soon as he says, like his hands. They're backing I mean, in the driveway. Think, it's perfect like timing. I'm just going to get up while he the does person the intro to fan art, close that door. Stones. We'll be good. Mm -hmm. So and Throw knives instead. Throw knives. Yeah, she would just... That was dagger, dagger, dagger. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Thank you. I have not seen Camp Dagger, one, dagger, so dagger. spoiled for me. Spoilers! But let's tarry on and do fan art of the week. Yay! Good segue. Art to dad dead. <laughs> this week's fan art winner for Campaign 2, Episode 62, was sent in by Carmen right, Porzio, at Porzio Art. Por look, look at that. It's perfect. We'll see the name. At Porzio Art. Cool. Oh Carmen my Porzio. My oh, my that's a beautiful one. This. It's my so God. Cutie. Jester is painted so well. A hidden dick. <laughs> that almost she looks did? like yeah, there's a hidden real. Dick Zach, find that like dick the flower part so looks painted. If I just saw the gesture with the pots, right that almost oh. looks like it could be a oh. photograph. Uh. There's a, it's on one of the yellows. It's on one of the yellows, Zach. The dick is on the yellow. <laughs> Where Search is it really? the yellow for a dick. This is the best show. I mean, they could all be dicks, technically. The dick, they could all be dicks. Look, look like? how they're painted. They could all be little dicks. You found dicks. it, Steve? Yeah. Show me on the art where Is the there an action? Yeah. I like, see, Wait. I don't know if they're being sure. serious. I'll know yeah. if I see. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see yeah, it! I see it! I see it! Right there! Right here! Right here! Yeah, we're, yeah, I just saw it. Now I can't find it on the thing. It's right next oh. to your show. Where did I just see it? Oh no, there it is! I see it now. Right here! Right here! You see it, babe? Am I even pointing? Oh, uh, you guys can't say. You guys can't see what I'm painting. Yeah, you see it now. It's right in the middle of the yellow. There is a little dick with balls. Oh my God! There really was. We really got there. Thanks. Sitting on her That is up there with some of the grades, everybody. Thank Jester you looked so realistic. It almost uh, would have, like, you, I'm not Carmen. kidding. If you took you out the background, because it was clearly. Yes. Do you know what's That's dope cool. about the zebra wood one? Zebrawood. This is the one that I have. <gasps> I, I own this one. I think you should display There's it There's a spider. Here. I usually don't kill them, but that was what a if, gnarly wait, looking one, and I don't want to have to worry oh, yeah, about it later. Right. I apologize for the death of this spider. You want to smell this? He knows what. Normally, I catch them in a bottle and I throw them outside. Yeah, I, I'm getting like, really good uh, at catching spiders. Yeah, Get so I um, feel bad this that that one was big and gnarly, Dude. and it will crawl up my leg Man, and eat my face. It just it smells like they made it yesterday. Oh, it does. Right? It's like really good. And the vacuum I love the smell of wood. Uh, remember, when I was in high school and college, I built houses with my father and his company. Slash. And everything was hardwood well, floors, so, yeah. and when oh, the wood guys would go in, they the would do email. the entire house in Not the email. magnificent, mm. like, cherry woods and stuff. At when you went in after the guys cut all on. the wood up, it smelled so Cold lovely. We've got it was questions. beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I want For, like, answers. weeks, it would smell like fresh cut wood with and, you, like, Ashley. really okay. good wood. Oh, a second question from It's Your Go That's Regard. Yes. What? They had a lot of really good it's questions. It's another. Don't at me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he, made he responded to this to before. Ford? We only Was ask the questions that are good. For a friend, so don't have shitty questions. He That's might what Brian be up to says. something nefarious. It's your go regard. He's That's one of my favorites now. It's up there um, with REO teabagging. It was a little bit of both. I mean, I feel like we could all sort of feel that he was acting a little funny. Um, plus, I just kind of wanted to see what was, what was up. Yeah, I don't um, think, I mean, hey, who knows with the shit going on. I think it was yeah, more so just, just being yeah, aware what of what. Just seeing what was up. Yeah. Yeah, just seeing what's yeah. up. Yeah. Not like any expectations or Sometimes negativity. You follow people. That's how you find out what they're up to. That's right. how you find out what they're Sometimes up to. Sometimes you put a hole in the wall. Yeah. Sometimes you put a glory hole in the. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Did I not <laughs> say it? <laughs> I said Brian Greg, will one up. day <laughs> or at one point. <laughs> Make the peephole a glory hole. Jordan I was James shocked Meyer he didn't say it earlier. Know. I'm happy he said it now. I was going to say, are me and Brian off our wavelengths? Because I tell you, me and Brian, 
If anybody in this show has the same mind as me, it's him making? and then maybe Sam What are we Regal. really making? But me and Brian think Steve, what are we really so making alive? here? I feel like we should go out for beers. Laura, what was Jesse's inner friends. monologue through Ford's seduction distraction technique? Oh, man. Sensual seduction. Okay, so here's the thing, Very right? Very question. This is, this is actually... Uh, should I explain all this? Yes, yes. explain it. Yes, Do Danny agrees. Do it. Do Danny, it. I also I'm love. Staying. Danny's great. Okay. Uh, this show um, okay. talks about the people on the um, show. I mean, besides the regular so, crew like of Critical Ford, Role. Okay. I love the so talks. I feel Magna like crew. Jester's really like been very forward with Ford and like, you know. I could turn off. The and he hasn't there. returned any of those flirtations, things that she thinks are flirtations, whether or not he understands it or he's not interested, whatever. But there was definitely like this fl friendly banter between them earlier on that kind of drifted away when we were at sea and she doesn't, you know, he hasn't been talking it to anybody about like It has very much he's loosened been going up. Through and any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, I feel like the fact so, that we're dealing with major like, wars and stuff. I'm kind is of backing it off. Part of it. In those terms with her. Yeah. Like she's not going to be. And plus, like having the realization that. I wanted it to go all there. All romances though. are not what you read in the, in the books, you know? Mm -hmm. And so she's kind of coming to these terms of like, maybe I don't understand what. It is. What's going on? It is. And, you know how other people feel and how I feel. I don't know any of those things. I so, think you make your it would be fun to tale. pursue. That's what you do. There, I, ain't well, I know care. these I mean, things, but Jester doesn't know It ain't gonna matter one way or the things. other. Right now it so, doesn't, but I would have yeah, yeah, prefer to who portrays her. <laughs> so in that moment when like, he's like actively seducing somebody and was like playing up the whole storybook romance, all of her like romance novels that she's been reading and he's like acting like that, she very much was just yeah. I said it. It was hard eyes the whole mm -hmm. time, just like mm -hmm. the little drool coming out of her mouth, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But trying to be subtle about it and not succeeding not in any way. And not yeah. succeeding. He's flirted with her a little bit. He's flirted. He's, he's trying, I he's think. He's done a little bit. It just doesn't get that, it anymore. I mean, last like, episode was the so many most times of, like, Ford, animated, like, maybe we'll say, we've like, ever I seen don't Ford. Know yeah. how to react anymore with this. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> this campaign, we've seen Travis, uh, you know, in a lot of different positions. <laughs> Has it been weird for you? Like, it's funny because you guys have acted in games before and like done a bunch of shit like that, but it's kind of funny to see that side of Travis out there, like seducing fools. It's hilarious. And shit. It's, it's hilarious. great. Yeah, in the same way that he never had any issue when like me and Talison were graph paper married. You know, he doesn't. Graph paper married. Graph paper married. <laughs> Percy and um, Vex. Yeah, I think it's it's graph totally enjoyable marriage. to see all that stuff graph play out. Graph paper married. Do you think he got game? I've never heard such a term. Do I think Ford I, got game? Apparently they didn't either. Travis. I know Travis got game. <laughs> but. Laura has his baby. That's right. Yeah. I know Where's Travis got game. Hey, she speaks That's highly of her making husband. The noise you guys Some people would sure. make fun. Sure. Maybe like, even, even if it's not true, they, they would probably jab or make fun like, okay. oh, well, they're miserable. Then the I had to do all the work. We're gonna want to see the baby. They, you know, they have so zero so game. I'm union. responsible for babies and all this marriage He's stuff. Sleeping. Ashley. You have to yell at IMDb oh, yeah, to, take his, to take his credit off. That's him sleeping. <laughs> no, he gets $15 when he turns 22 from being on the internet. So cute. $15. So <laughs> Ashley, we're going to put it in, a, in an account for him. Wants to know. $15. So there's no reason why you shouldn't put your feet on it. They're trying to ask you a question. That'll buy like you a, a McDonald's value meal. Yasha's been looking meal in to increase her defense years. recently by paying to get bracers or of defense enchanted. Is there a reason why she has not purchased I mean, body armor such as breastplate I went to McDonald's plate? the other day and, and they're already up to <sighs> like 10 or 12 blah. bucks for a So you get a few meal. hundred tweets about this a day, right? I do. Um, stuff that I've talked about with Matt and like barbarians and how it is you can't, uh, it, it would change the way I play the character. The funny thing I is I just went there for coffee. Armor on. Yeah. I went to McDonald's so, for coffee. Um, I didn't get any food. I just yeah, saw the prices. I haven't had McDonald's can't, food. You can't, there's a lot of, you, you in are limited so in, in some of but the stuff But I go there for coffee if you end up choosing and parfaits. I mean, I, I like the could, parfaits. but it's not the way I want to play the character. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah everyone there it is. like, you need to get buy armor. I'm like, I know I can buy armor. <laughs> I did see the name, by the way. I am <laughs> but, the sofa. Um, it's, Interesting name. Yeah, that's not how I'm choosing so to play the character. If y'all just trained her whole life, you know, Learning to fight with like leather on, and then all of a sudden you try to put a heavy 
plate mail armor on her, she's yeah, gonna it's, fuck up it's her fighting weird. style. Yeah. 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 Very true. So, Very true. Um, it was a discussion that I had with with Matt a little bit. He's like, you should, you should check out maybe get some bracers or something like yeah. that because he's like that could work. So, um, I'm working on it. We'll see what happens. But it's it's definitely how you I'm need a ring of AC is what you need. I need a ring of AC. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Yeah, but if we I got it, have... you'd be fucked because Caleb would just take it and put it on himself. Oh, oh. oh. oh look at the fire. face. She said it. Called out. Ring of oh. AC. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I've said this before. It reminds me of Raggedy Ann and Andy one eye looking at each of you. And the button <laughs> eyes are piercing, especially on that. looking at me and Danny. That is some <laughs> giant piercing button hair. eyes. It, it's a little know, scary. It's a little scary. Look at I can see I a give, horror movie I being made about that. I a hard time, that. but honestly, I do understand a that A smelly Caleb hobo is wizard a with crazy button cannon, eyes. And he needs protection. Yeah. yeah. I understand it. <laughs> she smacks him harder. <laughs> that doll looks like <laughs> a mix between Carrot Top <laughs> and Raggedy and Andy. Laura, lost my fucks in the war wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to see it spelled out. How do you feel out. about having to play lost telephone for everybody in the party? Do you feel like war. it puts too much pressure on Jester or is it a fun duty to handle? It's just how it, it sounds. Oh, I thought it might be it. like an interesting play on words. It is straight is, up. I mean, as long as it's at the end of the day, that's mm -hmm. fine. Because I only have so many spells. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it's totally fine because obviously Jester's not very good at it. So that's it's really fun. Really funny. Honestly, oh boy. I wouldn't have wanted Hello, anyone else but Jester me. to have that because yes. we are constantly I'm using just it now. To let you know that I'm and probably not so the best person to be handling this, chaotic. but I'll still do it if you want me to. If you want me and... to. <laughs> I mean, it's a really <sighs> cool like ability. I'm not kidding. Probably. Beyond fighting, <laughs> yeah. that might be he one of my favorite abilities worse, by anybody. To be fair, like yeah. obviously it's not great in battle, but if you're going outside of battle. That is I so saw this cool. Tree today. You can just <laughs> randomly and talk to whoever yeah. you want. <laughs> Take like ten minutes to get through twenty-five words. Yeah, probably. Like some the scrying to thing life, too. Man. The scrying thing is really uh, cool. Ashley, you could spy on people. You could write people all from the comfort of your home. That's me. I, Alurophile Al wants to know. Alurophile. That's what I said. Early in the campaign, Yasha spoke of Jorhas as an awful country and Rosh Hashanah as an area to be avoided. Rosh Hashanah. Keep going. Now that the party has spent some time in, in these places Rosh together, has That's her perspective Jewish changed? Holiday, why or why not? I'm, I'm positive. Uh, I think Yasha s spoke ill of, of Jorhas, obviously, because of her experience there. But you know, it's also it's all she's ever known, and um, um, I think also that was to maybe try to avoid it. Just mm. like oh, no, 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 you don't want to go there. It's, it's you know to, yeah. to keep them away. But that obviously didn't happen. <laughs> and also, you know, if if going back to Jorhas, she has to face her tribe or whatever mm -hmm. problems, you know, away her there. When I closed the there. door, Coco ran you know, and jumped if, up on the window. She's like, before, don't turn on me out. Found her there. Yeah. She very well could, um, they have absolutely mm -hmm. every right to take her in and. No, uh, I don't like it. And I think she would volunteer it. Danny just got an oh, English boy. accent. But, who knows? Who knows? I think it's, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I was gonna ask you if you had the hiccups. What's going on with your, is, is a, was a murder committed on those socks? What's happening here? No, it's pancakes, it's pancakes. and it's syrup. It was a murder. Pancakes, syrup, and butter. And it's so, they're <laughs> soft. Oh my God. That is not what I thought that was, you still you have them? I do. I would <laughs> not have guessed that ever. <laughs> <laughs> Henry jumped up. Oh my you God. Maybe. <laughs> Do you think it works? She was trying to scare the hiccups my out of her. That was that hilarious. Me, except she would scream fire right now. <laughs> no, in it didn't face. work. Damn it. I've done butter. that before. Like, Not peanut recently, butter, no. but you, I've had it done to me and I've done it to people. Yeah, but I, I, I did not expect that. And I did not expect like pancake socks. Okay, that doesn't work. Watch it not work for you. I thought it was more along the lines of what Brian thought. Drink upside down. I thought someone got murdered. I do that every night. Running down. 
But I usually get. I mean, uh, that's why I looked, never have hiccups. Steve. It was brown blood, but Laura, blood while gets you're brown doing that, listen to Ashley answer this question from <laughs> Quinn Zahasky. Uh, I feel like you answered that one. No, after seeing a proper map of Jorhas and where everything lies, do you, as Yasha, feel a stronger pull to return home? To return home. To return, return home. <laughs> return home. Um. I finished my drink. I'm shit faced. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Drank upside down. Um, I drank upside down before the show. Are they gone? Yes. Hey, ten what? sips. Ten what? sips. Ten, what? ten sips. Um, Did you have that much left in here? Too well, a lot left. That's cool. Man. Good job. Um, I feel like more. I'm excited to go home because, you know, there's. I didn't There's see a how bit long. of the I'm story that this is a I came up with episode, and then right? obviously passed it yeah, over got, to oh, Matt. Eight, and so eight I'm minutes just left. excited to see what he's done with it. Yeah, yeah. it's about the same, um, same length, right? 57 minutes? I don't think Yasha's oh, excited to than go usual. see. A little shorter. Um, what's up? <laughs> but, you know, obvious. And, and, and Yasha has not been this far north yet. Where they where they are. The, she's only just heard of, what of is that? stories. Is that just of, a little um, pigeon? You know, and. and Certain things that they fought. I mean, they were a nomadic Sweet. tribe. They went everywhere, but more southern. So this is as far north as she's been. But I think she'll probably continue to avoid it until they can't anymore. Yeah. I wish mm. that wasn't the case, but Being I fun. guess we'll have to accept it's it. cute, isn't it? It is. <clears throat> what is it exactly? Frankelstein wants to know Laura. Is it representing Jester, something Mrs. or just Gilman, a random bird? Once again, proclaim that he is her father. <laughs> Only for him to shoot her down. How confident is Jester that the gentleman is her I father? brought this up in the last episode. I'd be much more confident if I had remembered to do disguise self in front of my mama. Damn, fool. Oh. Who are you going to blame that one on? Myself. <sighs> yeah, see, we've never got the confirmation. Um, I said this last episode. The gentleman? Jester is very sure that the gentleman is her father. I'm pretty sure as well. I don't know. It sucks it, it's so on the nose. up to it. It but wouldn't surprise me if it's a misdirect. Sort of memory stuff happened. But I think it's real. You know, mm -hmm. it's possible, <laughs> and she's she's you know not gonna fully think that he's intentionally ignoring her until she gets there and figures it out. And yeah. I have a plan Ooh. for what to do when I meet him, if we ever get to go back to Zadash. All right, awesome. Ooh. Oh boy. Which I hope we do because nothing Kalyan against those kind of for us. <laughs> stuffed animals. I don't know what you call them. But the yeah, ones that look like the bird, and I'm guessing that's Frumpkin. Caleb. <laughs> it reminds me of my grandmother's <laughs> couch <laughs> from like 1982 Don't feels when I was a baby. Ashley, and it kind of creeps me out as a as a Winter Funa Four wants to know. I like the ones that are more soft favorite and flower? rounded. Basically, and out of those four, the Jester one's the only one I would ever thus far. buy. Nothing against them. Oh, gosh. It's just not my thing. Okay, uh, favorite they, they, flower. They, 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 um, it's just a visual association that is weird. I don't want a stuffed animal that looks like my grandma's couch. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure there are some favorite flowers. Yeah. I know I love that pin. Um, yeah. Keep, this... keep going, Nate. Answer Sorry. the question about the flowers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't totally know. I, got distracted. There's so many flowers that she hasn't seen. I mean, you know. The southern wastes of, of Look at the Jorhas little dagger pin. Very, now I'm distracted. Um, that's a cool little dagger pin. Pretty barren. So I think everything, that's why I think she just loves flowers so much, obviously. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What? I am listening to you answer this question. I, what, what was he doing? I don't know what I was talking he about. He was like pointing, but I didn't it. see You're what talking he about was... flowers. You were talking about, you were talking about <laughs> your love for me. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's that thing. Oh, do We've I seen that thing before. Is that what's happening? Just kind oh, wait, of, that's a different one. That's a bigger one. I feel like one. you guys just feel so lonely on the couch. We've seen something similar to that, to but it was a bigger... Keep you company. That's fine. Oh my God, there is so many go. things on this couch. Um, there's a lot of frumpkins around. A lot of frumpkins. There's frumpkins everywhere. The frumpkin? Yeah, that so, one looks like an um, octopus yeah, tentacle know. frumpkin. We've seen that one many times. I think she's discovering, you know, all of the... That looks like this frumpkin. That is the closest to this frumpkin I've seen. I don't know if she has a favorite yet, but... As for how many flowers, there's a lot that are pressed. Is she getting ready book. to catch something? Mm -hmm. Je um, Laura's getting ready to catch something. She's reaching know. her arm. Maybe. Look, they're sliding or something under the couch. I don't know. What's I being to, passed I to, to Laura? There's a lot. I mean, it's been over the course of. Oh, there it goes. 
year or so. Yeah. Oh, what about those flowers? Oh, and you know what? I need to clear something. Oh, please. Yep. Um, flowers are flying <laughs> at us. Do you do that to oh, all the ladies, them. Steve? Um, Throw flowers. Throw flowers <laughs> <at them. laughs> Call you something. Here's some flowers, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> That's how you um, win I over think... a lady. Here's some flowers. flowers. Zuala. What? You've been saying Zula. You've been saying some weird shit. Spell it. I have not been Z known to do that. U A. A. L A. L A. Yeah, Z U A L A. Zula. You do. What do you say? Zuala. I said Zuala 13 seconds ago. Zuala. I know, but there was said it, one of the talks that I was watching that yeah, I was he not said it weird. here at. Yeah, he said it weird. Yeza instead of Yaza. Yeah, it's Yeza. I've heard him say Yeza, too. They're, they're Yeza's. Is he done? Are we done? Yeza, there, I, that might be the last question. No, Look I didn't. at that. Oh, what is that? Oh, I'm Brian. Brian. It almost. You say Zuella, Zuella I say Zuala. Is that it? <laughs> if someone can prove to me that I what said. Is that? Who what? is that of? That little Zula? doll on Brian. Yeah. On an episode of Tox Machina. For some mm. reason, it reminds me of yeah, Marceline. And I, I will you give you a guy. signed picture of myself. But the, it, the, the look <laughs> I do have made a, me think of Marceline. Let's get one of those printed up at once. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I do have an idea of how know. she looks. Okay. But I do need to talk to Matt and see if I'm able to share that. Share that. Because I don't know if he. what. Ideas, if Holy he has any shit. ideas. Who knows? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. She looks she's like, yeah. Oh, man. Aww. We got through. Me everything, and then I won't tell anybody. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. sure, okay. that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's what, that's what Talison does. <laughs> yeah. Does he really tell you everything? Yes. That's awesome. Lucky. I, mean, I can always ask Talison, and I'll be like, will you tell me? And he'll be like, absolutely. And then he'll tell me things. <laughs> Here, maybe Don't he'll, out maybe Talison. Tell me Danny, even if that's true, you don't out the person. <laughs> It's all the time we have for tonight, folks. Flowers <laughs> and pumpkins. I would like to thank Laura. And, oh, and he's Ashley catching them all. He's a good oh, Look at this. <laughs> he caught everyone. Oh. 63 of Critical Role Campaign 2. Uh, now he's, and he's not even looking, but he missed Thursday. the pigeon. <laughs> hey, gang, check this out, though. This is important. We're ending a couple right. minutes early. <laughs> yeah, he's even catching the, the ones fired. The of Critical Role. <laughs> I got to give it to Brian. Brian's oh, pretty, yeah. pretty uh, good with catching. Joel Hodgson's. Mystery Science Theater 3000, the pod comic, live from Burbank, California. We're going to host it on our channel right here and just at least make it a good throw. Close in, your eyes. In just a few seconds. <laughs> if you're going to throw right, shit, right. at least you make it me? good. Yeah. Stop it. Put your hands down and close your eyes. Ready? Stop opening your eyes. Careful yeah, the ready? You got to will it. Close your eyes. <laughs> I wanted to do it. Will it. Will it to Trust be so. Me, I'm your just fiance. Keep your hands. Oh, man. <laughs> That was the worst. She wailed it. Okay, Not only did okay, she okay. do it with his eyes closed, she did it the fastest and hardest and right in his face. They're doing a pod. They're doing a live reading of a comic, and the cast of Critical Role is yes. doing it. That. We have to go. We have Trust to go over me, there I'm right your fiance. We're host it on this channel it in just face. a few seconds. It's going to be insane. It's going to be hilarious. Look at his hair. <laughs> Look at his hair. As always. Don't forget to love each other, despite what you've seen tonight. <clears throat> despite what you've seen tonight, love each Thursday. other. Stay tuned, my friends. Remember, creepy in a crime. And? Neither is D&D. &D. <laughs> How many sign-offs do you have now? 62. <laughs> That was clever. She goes, how many sign-offs do you have now? He goes, 62, because there's probably a different variation for every episode we've ever had of Talks Machina. For the most part, he sticks to stay turned, my friends, and love each other. Now we have creepy ain't a crime, neither is D&D. &D. He still says stay turned, my friends. I mean, there's all sorts of things. I love everything about it. We got a little chaos at the end, throwing stuffed animals around. Ashley, amazing. She's like, trust me, I'm your fiance. I'm going to probably lightly toss it to you with your eyes closed. And she immediately whips it into his face. It might have hit his chest like here before it impacted, but it was like hard enough where it probably smashed him in the face a little bit. But I feel like they're both like that. That's why they're probably great together. We also heard that we got a finalization to Ashley's career with Blindspot. I don't remember exactly how far that show went. Like I said in the show, I've seen it and I watched it in the beginning. Then I feel like it was one of those shows that did like a couple episodes and then took a break, like most shows do when they're trying to get a feel for the audience and see if people are in. And then I remember it restarting and I just never jumped back on. I think it's like, it's one of those things where 
you never remember or know. Well, I mean, some people might, but it's hard with all the shows I watch. If you do four or five episodes like Quantum Leap, I think, did that. The new Quantum Leap. I feel like they did three or four episodes, then took like a month off and then started back up. I loved the original Quantum Leap. And honestly, the new one wasn't horrible. It was interesting for what it was, but they took a break. And then when they took a break, I was like, but, and then the, then it came back on. I never watched it again. I understand why shows do that, but it also like loses a lot of the audience. I feel either way. Great episode. We got a lot of interesting questions dealing with Jester and Ford and Jester and the gentleman and the name using Lavor with not and possibly having Astrid catch us. But all in all, it was a great episode. We got Ashley Johnson again. I'm curious to see how much more of Ashley Johnson we get because I love and enjoy her. But we've got her three out of the last four at least. And I feel like, if anything, they just got to mash it up to get other people a shot and... The fact that other people's stories are probably being focused on more than Yasha at this point, I feel like we're just going to run out of things to talk about with Ashley Johnson. It was good for three out of four because we lost her for so long, but now I feel like we've gotten back into the the, the feel and the, the way things are with her, at least. Based on what we saw, I wouldn't be surprised if next we get Marisha. I feel like we got Marisha and Travis recently, but I feel like they of recent have been involved in a bunch but either way, not would work. I mean, everybody would work besides maybe Yasha because we've just seen her so much. And honestly, we're not really tapping in unless she goes on the balcony and summons the Storm Lord or something. I, I don't know. We're going to have to see. But we're going to jump in to the rest of episode 63. We got to the 45 minute part. Exactly. We're going to do the hour Patreon exclusive. I think we're left with about 27 minutes for YouTube. And then we'll do the live stream on Friday. So this is going to go up. You'll see the Patreon hour tomorrow. Tuesdays is when I've been dropping the YouTube video. We were going to call it the, the YouTube hour, but then I'm like, a lot of them aren't an hour. Like, this one's 27 minutes. So I think for now, we're going to go with the mighty... See, the mighty hour doesn't work because it's not an hour. I don't know. We're going to we're gonna figure it out. You'll see when I do it. I'll have a name. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full on edited reactions to all the shows on the channel. Every episode of Campaign 2 has a Patreon hour exclusive. Season 1 and 2 of Vox Machina, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra. Starting Always Sunny, Finishing, Barry and Ted Lasso. Hundreds of movies and shows. Check the link. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.